This video find views is all about fusion mods in Mass Effect Andromeda, how to get each one, what the Ketid does and how this could be useful for you. Remember folks if you like this kind of content be sure to hit that like button as not only does a fairy give birth when you do, but it also helps me work out if the content I'm doing is actually the stuff you want to see. Right, that sounds jibber jabber, let's get into the video. A fusion mod is a special kind of mod that only fits into that big old mod slot located on your chess piece. Fusion mods like other mods give a buff. Not only are these buffs super powerful, but they also come with a big sacrifice to something else. They can be gained in lots of ways, each more complex and daring than the previous, but really it's just stuff like defeat this big nasty, clear this big nasty place, etc etc. It should also be noted that there is a cryopod that you'll unlock as you progress through the game that significantly reduces the negative effect present on the fusion mods, making them one hell of a lot more tempting. So without further delay, let's get over these bad boys. The fusion mod of shielding will give you 50% extra shields but the price of 50% of your health. This mod is gained by completing the vault on EOS. This bad boy is more useful than you may imagine. Without an exact setup for you, I'll state that if you use some shield boosting skills and maybe even a bio converter on your weapon with regen skills, this could be potentially extremely powerful. The bio converter takes 5% of your health, so it'll just take half of the number it would have if you didn't have this mod on. If anything, making it easier to regen from, and as the shield gain is a percentage too, it's just gravy. The Fusion mod of Biotic Mastery increases your Biotic power damage by 30%, but decreases your weapon, melee, tech and combat power damage by 20%. This Fusion mod can be gained by defeating the Architect on EOS. It is an almost purely Adept mod, though it has its uses elsewhere, but for the Adept set there this is an insane beast of a mod. The Fusion mod of Resistance increases your damage resistance by 20, but causes you to lose 50 health every time you evade. This mod can be gained by completing the Vault on Vault. Its uses however are a little iffy. I see this as only being useful for tanks, although surely even they evade from time to time. But I could see it working with a high health regen setup. As far as I know the damage resistance is total, so it works with your shield too and not just health. The Fusion mod of Hovering increases the duration of your hover by 100%, but it also reduces your weapon damage by 30%. This mod can be gained by defeating the Architect on Vault. At first thought, this has its uses as you can negate the negative effects by using the Aerial Performance Optimizer augment that gives you 35% increased weapon damage when hovering, but that would still require hovering to do decent damage with a weapon. If you used it as a biotic player, it would give you increased airtime, but surely that would help only against melee beasts, as with other, it would just put you out in the open for longer. I'm not sure I fully understand this one's use, so if it has one and you know, please stick it all up inside the comments, because I don't have the foggiest. The fusion mod of robotics increases tech construct health by 25%, but reduces shields by 50%. This mod can be gained by completing the Haval Vault. This seems to mostly suit either a Puppet Master Engineer or a Sentinel. Sentinels are all about the power arm so it could take a few hits to the shields. Purely depends how much you want to invest into your marionettes. The Fusion mod of Rapid Deployment increases power recharge speeds by 50% but reduces weapon damage by 30%. The mod can be gained by completing the Vault on Kadara. This could be very powerful for any power slinger and a good boss fight alternative to those using the fusion mod of adrenaline. Depending on your skills and how fast your recharge speed is, depends how good this fusion mod is in comparison to the adrenaline, though this is far more specific to playstyle. The fusion mod of battering increases melee damage by 30% but decreases weapon, tech, biotic and combat power by 20%. This mod can be gained by defeating the Architect on Kadara. This has Vanguard written all over it, and even then it's a specific type of Vanguard. To few this is super uber beast mode powerful, to most it's a never use. Its uses are obvious, no point rambling on further. 
The fusion mod of Rupture gives 25% increased weapon headshot slash weak point damage but reduces weapon clip size by 70%. This mod can be gained by completing the vault on LR Den. This mod as pointed out by a few viewers can be used to extreme power by using with weapons that have only one shot in the clip anyway. Stack on certain augments and mods and have a fairly insane damage day. This actually sounds like a fun thing to do so I might make a complete build to this fusion mod when I get it. To really get all the power out of it. The fusion mod of tech mastery gives a 30% increase to tech power damage but reduces melee, weapon, biotic and combat damage by 20%. This mod can be gained by defeating the architect on LR Den. Finally one for the engineers, it's fairly simple if you use tech powers almost exclusively then go go gadget fusion mod. The fusion mod of health gives you 100% extra health but 50% lower shields. This mod can be gained by completing the journey to Meridian and killing a certain mob. I won't name the mod for spoilery reasons. This is essentially the opposite of the mod of shielding, depending where your skill points are depends which one to go for. Even if you just have a separate chest piece for killing architects and insanity, this would be amazing as your shields aren't all that useful against architects. The Fusion mod of Adrenaline recharges your active powers on kill but reduces your power recharge speed by 50%. This is a very good mod. In my opinion it is the best out of the Fusion mods. It loses some value in insanity but it's still the best there too really. Even if you aren't focused on power slinging you no doubt at least use a concussive shot or weapons cloak. This mod can be gained by completing a quest and doing a little treasure hunt on Haval. This part contains spoilers which is why I left it till last, these spoilers are a quest name and how to solve the puzzle. Click off or continue now, you have been warned. The quest in question is a dying planet. Once you've completed that quest you'll receive an email from Addison. Read the email and you can start the mini treasure hunt. Go to a cave in the central wildlands east of Palav Research Station, just inside there is a remnant console. Activate this console then scan it. Going from the console is power cable underground. Follow the cable until you come to a wall. On this wall are ledges to jump up. Go up them. There are a few more on a wall on top of the original wall. Up there is another console. Activate this console and a beam of light will point from that console to just over the canopy. Go toward that and there will be more ledges to climb on to get up there. You'll find yet another console up there. Activate it then take the gravity well right by it. This will take you across the canopy to yet another goddamn console. Activate that console and solve the remnant puzzle it provides. Once you've done that, use the gravity well right by it and you'll be transported once more across the canopy to a secret room where a chest is waiting with the mod inside. I'm currently not where my computer is, which is why this isn't a weapons showcase. Those field test showcase vids take two days to make and I didn't have that much time before I left, so whipped up a few of the quicker ones off my list. I'll be back Friday though so fear not for more is to come. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video or learned anything new and or useful. If it drove you to depression with just how damn terrible it was then feel free to whack that dislike button and if you haven't already maybe think about subscribing. We'd love to have you, got loads of Mass Effect Andromeda vids and many many more to come. Thanks for watching folks, have an awesome day.